Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil, and I've been going through the series on setting up QuickBooks. And one of the biggest things that I think people struggle with is how do you set up donors and donations so that everything works well? And in this video, I'm just going to go over the, the setting it up so that I set up my product and services for people to donate to, as well as import my donors or um, yeah, I'm going to work mainly on importing my donors, assuming that you have some kind of a donor database somewhere else that you're maybe switching from. All right, so here we are in QuickBooks, and I'm going to start by setting up my different donation places that they could donate to. So you, what you need to do is go to Sales and Product and Services. So under product and services, I don't have anything. Else. So I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, I might make mistakes, so go ahead and watch. I normally like to set them up as services, though. I don't know why, but I, I'm afraid of having inventory or something like that. That would screw something up. So I'm going to, well, let me see. I'm just going to write in general fund. So this is what would appear on their statement. Um, general fund individual. I, I don't know if that's. Anyway, that's what I'm going to use. I don't have any category set up. I don't have any classes set up. Maybe I should do that someday. Uh, but right now, I just don't know why I would use it at the top of my head. Um, there's probably a good reason. And then you have to set where do you want the income to be posted in the general ledger, so in your accounting reports. And for me, I have one set up that is for individual donations, and that's where I want it set up. All right, so let's go ahead and add that one and add a new one. And I want to have general fund churches because for my ministry, we get donations from churches as well as individuals. And um, if you click that button, um, anyway, you want it clicked. So that's the key thing. Uh, and for this one, I have one from, from churches. And actually, when I click that button, I think it checked that. So I'm going to take that off. Um, but make sure that, yeah, because you're you're not really selling it to your members, but that is a place where it's going. And then I have another one for connectional funding, which is kind of like our church dues. So it's different than a donation. A donation is over and above. It's not It's not an obligation, but this is an obligation for our churches. And it doesn't look like I have... A, I don't have an account set up for that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and go to add new, I guess. And revenue. So that's right. I'm just going to go nonprofit and I'm going to give it some kind of a number. Oh man, I wish I would have looked at that before I got here. So 4190 might be good. Uh, description, connectional funding. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. So, all right. And then I'm going to, I think I have one more that I need to add. Um, we did receive some donor restricted funds for salary support for a time. So I'm just going to go salary support. And one of the things I like to do is I like to run these through my equity accounts. And I don't have anything set up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one um, for salary support. So add new, and I have a video on how I do donor restricted funds to the equity accounts. I think it's, for me, it's about the slickest way. Um, yeah, I think it's a slick way of doing it. So owner's equity and rename that to salary support. Give it some kind of a number. I don't know exactly what number to do. Eventually, I'd want this to be a sub account, but I didn't set up the main donor restricted one yet. So anyway. I'm going to go ahead and be done here. So I have all of them set up. And I can't inactivate those ones. Shoot. I wanted to get rid of those. I'll have to worry about that some other time. So let's go ahead and I want to double check. Okay. I remember clicking that one check mark and I didn't want to. Uh, anyway, I want to make sure my check marks are ready. So let's go ahead and start adding members now. So if you go to members, there's a number of ways to get to members. Um, so first of all, there's a members one. And members, I don't know if yours is all set up the same way, but also under sales, there's a members. 
Yeah, and it might be customers. Remember, you can change that in the account settings on how they are named. So I want to import mine. I don't want to enter them manually because I already have a donor database. And I'm going to download this sample file because that's going to show the format that they want them. So what I what my hope is is that I can export my donors from my old database and then I can put them in a spreadsheet in this form and then just import them and it'll save me a whole hopefully a bunch of time. So yeah, this is looks pretty standard. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any of these opening balances. It's not, these are yeah, I don't have if I wanted to do pledges, um, I think that's how I would do them is I would I would bill them and have a balance. So anyway, I will have to think about how to do that because with my connectional funding, it'll be kind of like a pledge. So we'll be able to see that as well in a future video. So long story short, I use Anadot for my um, managing my donors. So I actually use it mainly, I, I, I primarily wanted to use it for my online giving, but I found out I could also use it for my donors and it's been pretty slick. Anyway, while I was doing it, I bumped it into integrations when I was looking to export my donors. And I did a new one. And if you look here, there's a QuickBooks one. And by the way, if you have Salesforce or anything like that, um, any online system probably there's probably an integration like this so I'm just going to choose donation page and I actually have no idea if this is going to work so maybe this is going to be a future uh, future video where I show the integration and how that works who knows and they're asking how did I find out about Anadot well it was a Google search anyway that's all I I think I have to do and hopefully everything works pretty slick from there on and now on the QuickBooks side, if I go ahead and go all the way down, there's this apps and my apps and there's Anadot. So it shows up there. Again, I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope it works. I hope it makes my life easier. I hope it automatically populates my donations as deposits somehow. That's the hope. All right, back to what we're here for. I was able to export all my members from Anadot. Took a little bit of time it, it, and a little bit of cleanup, but I think I have a solid start. Either way, it saved me a whole lot of data entry. And let's go ahead and go to sales and members and to import. Import members and browse. So I exported a file and I called it members. And then I had to put it, and then I just used their, that template, and I just put it right in there and saved it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And yeah, it mapped everything out. So I have some blank ones where I didn't add extra stuff in there. I didn't have a website or an opening balance or any of those kinds of things. Uh, but everything looks like it's mapped right. And here are the churches, and you can see for the name, they put the name of the treasurer there, which is not a bad deal for um, for me. I'm not showing you the individual ones. I'm just showing you the church ones right here. Those ones were on top, and I think everything looks good. So it saved me. I'm, I'm importing 59 of them all at once. And again, it took me, I don't know how long, maybe maybe about 30 minutes to clean up the file and get it out there. And all right. I think I've done it. So I have members added. Uh, I can still add new members here if I wanted to. So every time I want to add a new member, I can go ahead and do this. And one of them that I didn't bring over is anonymous. Uh, so that's what I use for my cash donations that I just don't know anything about. And I think that's all I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to say they're an individual. Chances are a church is not going to send me a bunch of cash anonymously. So it's going to be an individual. And all right. I don't even know what else to do. I think this looks, I think this looks good. So I have my products and services set up and I have my members set up. So the next video we do 
you might be entering in some donations. All right, that kind of feels good to have everything set up. So I'll, I'm kind of excited for my next donation that I'm going to do. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. And hopefully everything works well. Um, there's always some difficulty in not only the donation, but matching up the different donations to the deposit. So, um, yeah, the next video, uh, or I guess that video is going to be awesome when you see it. All right. Till next time, God bless.